So this is uh, this is a pretty great phone. So I've been using OnePlus 6 every day now for about two weeks, and it is absolutely daily driver material. I think people who buy it, who know what they're getting themselves into, will like it a lot, and it's pretty easy to recommend. So that's right off the top. Really the more interesting part is reviewing this phone for me has become an exercise in a study of the law of diminishing returns. The law of diminishing returns is a point at which the level of benefits gained is less than the amount of money or energy invested. So you see a $300 phone, you get a certain amount of value. Then you spend $300 more and you get a lot more value. You spend $300 more than that, you get a little more value. And then you spend another $300 more and you get just a tiny bit more. So honestly, Welcome to the unboxing. Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and this is the one we've been waiting for. This is the one I told you to skip iPhone 8 for. This is the one that represents the future of Apple smartphones. This is iPhone 10. And while it doesn't say X anywhere on the front of the box, uh, people are pretty much always going to call this one the X. I've just accepted that. So this is your first look at the unboxing experience, and spoiler, it's pretty much exactly the same as iPhone 8 was, and almost every other iPhone. Headphones, adapters, stickers, it's all in the box. But I guess it's a good thing there's no surprises here. So you can see right here off the bat, it's a really shiny, chromey, reflective phone. Uh, this is the silver one, and you can see how shiny the sides are. The space gray one, though, is a bit more toned down. And so the only thing that was actually new during the setup of iPhone 10 is now you set up Face ID during first boot instead of the fingerprint touch ID. Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. And in front of me, I have two phones, the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7. And I don't do that many live unboxing style videos every year, but this is definitely one of them. And you'll notice I have the matte black iPhone 7 Plus and the jet black, so the super glossy, iPhone 7. So I'm gonna take a look at both of these and we'll actually compare them and hopefully get a better idea of which one you might wanna get if you're considering one of the two new colors. But yeah, this is the retail box experience and this is exactly what you're gonna get if you buy an iPhone 7. So they're both 256 gig iPhones. Let's go ahead and open the boxes. We'll start with the glossy black. We'll start with the jet black. What is up guys, I'm KBHD here and it's 2014 everything leaks. And this is the second video I'm making about the iPhone 6, this time with an exclusive part. This is the front glass from the iPhone 6. Let's take a closer look. So a lot of you guys will remember the last video I did about the 4.7 inch iPhone 6 model, which a lot of you guys saw, but this here isn't a mock-up. This is an actual straight off the assembly line iPhone 6 part from Apple. And it's the entire 4.7 inch front panel of glass, including a sheet of sapphire crystal. So. This is important. Because of its existence, we can basically confirm that, yeah, there will be an iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display. And we now know that this 4.7 inch model will have this sapphire display, not just Gorilla Glass. So there was some speculation that only a larger 5.5. Hey dude. Oh, hey Colin, what's up? Are you uh are you wearing Beats by Dre right now? With the yeah, yeah, they are. I I decided to uh give another chance. Okay. Yeah, I feel like with all the hate towards Beats by Dre, we just kind of started dismissing them without even really giving them a shot. So I think that's not as fair. So you're gonna start using Beats like full time and everything? Well, no. Well, I mean, okay. So these are the Beats Studio 2.0. So I'm giving them a fair listen. All right. So how does it sound? Like like beats, they sound like beats, but honestly, that's that's not even really the point about, you know, that's not really the point of beats. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's not. What's up guys, I'm KBHD here, and this is gonna be a quick video on something just because it's been covered in depth by a lot of people already. If you're subscribed to anyone else tech on YouTube, you've probably already seen this, or if you're not subscribed to any other tech channels on YouTube, maybe this is the first time you're seeing this, but this is the iPhone 6 dummy body. So a lot of people have been getting their hands on this courtesy of Sony Dixon, who has had some notoriously great Apple leaks in the past. And I'll leave his Twitter link down below if you wanna check out the rest of the stuff he shared. 
but this is supposed to be our first look at the body shape and size of the iPhone 6. But what it really is, is the, the dummy phone that a lot of the case manufacturers will use to create and start producing their iPhone 6 cases before the phone has actually been announced. So this is basically made up of all your rumors, all of your speculation, all of the things we know about. What is up guys, MKBHD here, and this is the LG G Flex, quite possibly the most interesting phone in the world right now. So a video of this phone kind of went semi-viral last week from one of LG's official YouTube channels of this phone about its self-healing and durability. And ever since then, that's what people seem to want to know about when they hear the name LG G Flex. So that's what this video is for, testing the self-healing of this crazy, ridiculous looking new device. Now there are two aspects to the self-healing of this phone. One, the backing and actual fancy material choices, and two, the actual curved design, or flex. We'll get to that in a second. But for the backing material, in their video, they scratch the phone up and down on the back next to a regular backing. Then after two minutes of sitting, the G-Flex actually completely heals, almost, while the regular phone is, of course, still scratched. Now, the back of this phone is actually really smooth to the touch, very glossy like the Galaxy S4, so it's easy to tell when you've scratched it because you can run your finger over the scratch. Hey guys, MKBHD here, and uh, all right, it's the one we've all been waiting for. Apple held an event today at their new spaceship campus in the new Steve Jobs Theater to unveil a couple things that may or may not have leaked a little bit beforehand but that we're excited to finally see in person. So there's a couple low-key smaller announcements before the big one, which was, first of all, the new Apple TV, which now supports 4K and HDR. And we also got to see the new Apple Watch Series 3, which now has a cellular connection and can make and take phone calls. So that's all good stuff and we appreciate that, but what we were really there to see is the new iPhone. And what we got was two new iPhones. We got iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, and we got iPhone 10. not really sure what nine would be, maybe we're just skipping that all together. That's cool too. So iPhone 8 and 8 Plus are a spec bump to the current iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So nearly identical design, but it now has the glass back to support Qi wireless charging, which is awesome to see. It has a true tone display, but the same sizes and resolutions and a new A11 Bionic chip inside and some slightly updated 12 megapixel cameras. And it comes in a new rose gold color, which I think is more of like a, a copper or a faded like sandblasted kind of look. So bottom line, this is definitely an improvement. It's an upgrade over what we currently have. But even though this is called iPhone 8, this is definitely more iPhone 7S. Let's not get it twisted. But then came the one more thing, and that was iPhone 10. Don't you dare call it iPhone X. It's iPhone 10. So this is the phone that looks like all the dummies and models I was showing you guys earlier this year. And now seeing it in person now, those things, those things are staggeringly accurate. So this is my focus in the time we got to play with them. Hopefully I can do them justice on video. So iPhone 10, like we expected, has the- What is up guys, I'm KBHD here. And today at the Apple event, I got to see the new iPhones, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. They're both coming out in late September for the same price as the current iPhones were when they launched. So of course, I took a good hard look. Now, as expected, the design of the 6S is pretty much the same as the 6. In fact, the only way you'll be able to tell you have the 6S is by that little S badge on the back. Uh, of course, also if you have the new rose gold color, which to my eye is really more of like a pale pink. But yeah, other than that, from top to bottom, all the way around the outside of this phone, it's the same phone. Although the new 6S Plus is actually a little bit heavier in the hand than the current 6 Plus. And I think we can thank Bendgate for that, since Apple is now using a 7000 series aluminum alloy to strengthen the body, but it's only a couple extra grams. Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and my God, take a look at that future. This is the brand new Xiaomi Mi Mix. The new world's most interesting phone in my opinion. So you remember the Sharp Aquos Crystal from a couple of years ago? That bezel-less phone that I've showed before but with the chin that kind of made it look like an old Zune HD? This Mi Mix is a 2016 reincarnation of that concept and it's beautiful. I love seeing companies go all in on like crazy unique gambles like this. People like to keep saying smartphones are boring. Well, sure, we've technically seen this before but this phone takes it to the next level. I don't care. It has a 91...